hello students welcome in our channel this is medex talk and in this session we are discuss about the anatomy of liver okay the liver is the largest solid gland in humans it is situated in the right upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity okay it is situated in right upper quadrant of the abdominal cavity okay so it is a external abdominal oblique muscle it is a internal abdominal oblique muscle it is a rectus abdominis muscle it is a transverse abdominis muscle it is a linea alba so we remove the all the muscle it is a greater momentum it is a large intestine and it is a small intestine okay it is a duodenum it is a stomach it is a lungs okay so now we can remove all the things and discuss about the anatomy of liver now we discuss about the anatomy of liver okay in the living subject the liver is a reddish brown in color and soft in consistency the liver weighs about the 1600 g in male and about uh, 1300 g in females the liver is the largest gland in the body and it secretes the bile and performs the various metabolic functions the liver has a five surfaces and one sharp inferior border okay here the one sharp inferior border and five surfaces now we discuss about the surfaces of liver the liver has a five surfaces and one sharp inferior border okay it is a one sharp inferior border it is a anterior surface it is a posterior surface okay it is a superior surface now we can see clearly it is a superior surface it is a anterior surface it is a superior surface and it is a posterior surface it is a inferior surface okay and lastly we discuss about the right surface okay so the liver has a five surfaces the first one is a right surface second one is a anterior surface third one is a superior surface fourth one is a posterior surface 
the fifth one is a inferior surface okay the liver is divided into right and left lobes by the attachment of falciform ligaments anteriorly and superiorly okay the liver is divided into right lobe and left lobe by the attachment of falciform ligaments superiorly and anteriorly okay now we discuss about the ligaments of liver it is a ligament of left vena cava it is a ligamentum venosum it is a porta hepatis it is a round ligament of liver and it is a coronary ligament of liver it is a ligament of left vena cava it is a left triangular ligament of liver okay and it is a falciform ligament of liver it is a coronary ligament of liver and it is a falciform ligament of liver okay now we discuss about the two other lobes of the liver it is a cuneate lobe of the liver the cuneate lobe is situated on the posterior surface it is bounded on the right side by the impression for the inferior vena cava okay so let's see the inferior vena cava it is the inferior vena cava and it is the groove of the inferior vena cava and it is the cuneate lobe of the liver now we discuss about the quadrate lobe of the liver it is the quadrate lobe of the liver the quadrate lobe of the liver is situated on the inferior surface of the liver and it is a rectangular in shape okay now we are discuss about the visceral relations of the liver here we can see the body of the gall bladder we remove it the fossa for the gall bladder which lies on the inferior surface of the right lobe to the right of the quadrate lobe okay it is a fossa for the gall bladder which is lies on the inferior surface of the right lobe to the right of the quadrate lobe okay it is a anterior surface and it is a slightly convex okay now we discuss about the posterior surface okay 
on the posterior surface we can see the groove for the inferior vena cava it is the groove for the inferior vena cava we can see the inferior vena cava it is the inferior vena cava okay so it is the groove for the inferior vena cava and we can also see the cudate lobe of the liver so we can see the groove for the inferior vena cava and cudate lobe on the posterior surface okay the superior surface is related to diaphragm okay now we can see it is the diaphragm and the superior surface is related to the dome of the diaphragm okay now we discuss about the inferior surface of the liver on the inferior surface we can see the gastric impression of the liver it is a gastric impression of the liver secondly we can see the quadrate lobe of the liver it is a quadrate lobe of the liver and we already discussed about the fossa for the gallbladder okay now we see it is a colic impression of the liver okay it is a colic impression of the liver and we can see the renal impression of the liver okay it is a renal impression of the liver okay now we are discuss about the right surface okay here it is the right surface it is the convex and it is related to the diaphragm okay now we are discuss about the blood supply of the liver the liver receives the 20% of its blood supply through the hepatic artery and 80% through the portal vein okay now we discuss about the venous drainage the hepatic veins which drains directly into inferior vena cava okay 